guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, just a plain welcome then. Today we're going to be talking about my favourite house, Hufflepuff. Our founder is Helga Hufflepuff, who had to have been born prior to 976 and she was born in Wales. She accepted them all without preference. However, we tend to be loyal, hardworking, patient and a tolerant bunch. She was also the founder to organise the health elf contingent down in the kitchens with the aim of it being a safe place for them to work away from being mistreated and abused. She is described as a round plump woman with red hair and blue eyes and she could often be seen sporting a yellow or brown dress. Our emblem is the badger, an animal that is quite often underestimated because it lives quietly until attacked, but which, when provoked, can fight off animals much larger than itself, including wolves. Badgers were a guide in Celtic mythology, and they can symbolise a tendency to be hard-working, strong and tenacious creatures. Our house colours are yellow and black and our common room is found one floor below the ground on the same corridor as the kitchens. Now, there are a few things you should know about Hufflepuff House. First of all, let's deal with a perennial myth about the place, which is that we are the least clever house. Wrong! Hufflepuff is certainly the least boastful house, but we've produced just as many brilliant witches and wizards as any other. Want proof? Look up Grogan Stump, one of the most popular ministers for magic of all time. He was a Hufflepuff. As were the successful ministers Artemisia Luskin and Dougal McPhail. Then there's the world authority on magical creatures, Newt Scamander. And we have Bridget Wenlock, the famous 13th century arithmetic who first discovered the magical properties of the number seven. And Hengist of Woodcroft, who founded the all-wizarding village of Hogsmeade, which lies very near Hogwarts School. Hufflepuffs all. We produce more than our fair share of powerful, brilliant and daring witches and wizards. But because we don't shout about it, we don't get the credit that we deserve. Ravenclaws, in particular, assume that any outstanding achiever must have come from their house. I got in trouble in my third year for dueling a Ravenclaw prefect who insisted that Bridget Wenlock had come from his house and not mine. I should have got a week of detention, but Professor Sprout let me off with a warning and a box of coconut ice. Hufflepuffs are trustworthy and loyal. We don't shoot our mouths off, but cross us at your peril. Like our emblem, the badger, we will protect ourselves, our friends and our families against all comers. Nobody intimidates us. However, it's true that Hufflepuff is lacking in one area. We've produced the fewest dark wizards of any house in this school. Of course, you'd expect Slytherin to churn out evildoers seeing as they've never heard of fair play and prefer cheating over hard work any day. But even Gryffindor, the house we get on best with, has produced a few dodgy characters. The entrance to the common room is concealed in a stack of large barrels in a nook on the right hand side of the kitchen corridor. You tap the barrel two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff and the lid will swing open. We are the only house at Hogwarts that also has a repelling device for would-be intruders. If the wrong lid is tapped, or if the rhythm of the tapping is wrong, the illegal entrant is doused in vinegar. You will hear other houses boast of their security arrangements, but it so happens that in more than a thousand years, the Hufflepuff common rooms and dormitories have never been seen by outsiders. Like badgers, we know how to lie low and how to defend ourselves. Once you've opened the barrel, crawl inside and along the passageway behind it, and you will emerge into the coziest common room of them all. It is round and earthy and low ceiling. It is always feels sunny and its circular windows have a view of rippling grass and dandelions. Our house ghost is the friendliest of them all, the Fat Friar. You'll recognize him easily enough. He's plump and wears monk's robes and he's very helpful if you get lost or in any kind of trouble. 
you should sleep comfortably. We're protected from storms and wind down in our dormitories. We never have the disturbed nights those in the towers sometimes experience. Well, once again, welcome to Hufflepuff House.